Qualcomm has already launched the Snapdragon 845 flagship chipset in December last year. It is expected to power smartphones like Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S and the Mi 7, Sony Xperia XZ Pro and XZ2 and the Nokia 8 2018 version. Previous reports have revealed that the upper mid-range Snapdragon 670 SoC will be launched soon as a successor for the Snapdragon 660 from last year. Well-known tipster Roland Quant has revealed new details of the Snapdragon 670. Welcome back to Catnip and come on, let's learn together. According to Quant, the Snapdragon 670 will be based on the 10 nanometer manufacturing process that will not be based on the classic big dot little architecture. Instead of 4 low end and 4 high end CPU cores, the Snapdragon 670 will be featuring a combination of low end hexa core processor and a dual core high end one. The low end cores based on the Cairo 300 silver architecture will deliver a maximum clock speeds of 1.7 GHz, where the Cairo 300 silver is nothing but an adapted edition of ARM's Cortex A55 architecture. On the other hand, the high performance cores will be based on Cairo 300 gold architecture which is again a custom version of ARM's Cortex A75 architecture. The high end part would be rocking a maximum clock speed of 2.6 GHz. This shows that the smartphones driven by this new chipset will be able to deliver stellar performance being in the upper mid range segment. Each of the cores will be having 32 kilobytes of L1 cache and each cluster gets 128 kilobytes of L2 cache. For the entire chipset, there is 1 megabyte of L3 cache as well. The SoC also includes Adreno 615 that works at 430 megahertz up to 650 megahertz and can even reach 700 megahertz dynamically as the manufacturer's decision lies the last that reaches us through the devices. The Snapdragon 670 will support up to WQHD display resolution but the exact information on it is yet to surface. The Snapdragon X2X modem will be able to produce maximum download speeds of 1 gigabits per second. When it comes to memory, the Snapdragon 670 offers support for UFS 2.1 and eMMC 5.1 as well. The specialized image processor packed inside the Snapdragon 670 allows its Adreno 615 graphics to support dual camera configurations. As of now, there is no information available on the maximum camera resolution supported by this chipset. However, it has been found that the reference design hardware includes support for at least a 13 megapixel and 23 megapixel dual camera setup. As of now, there is no information available on the launch date of the new chipset. However, it is likely that the company may unveil it at the Mobile World Congress 2018 at Barcelona later this month. It is also speculated that the Snapdragon 670 powered smartphones would be arriving the market soon from the third quarter itself. So that's it for now and we hope you liked the video. A million thanks to our dear subscriber family for your continuous love and support and until next time stay tuned for more.